Hello fellow lock pickers and welcome back. Uh, sorry I haven't been on for so long but I uh, went and got married so that's been taking up quite a bit of time with the preparation of that and the honeymoon and trying to undo the ball and chain so I can actually get away from the kitchen sink. But um, today I'm back and what better way to kick it off than to do a challenge lock. This is little John from Leon's lock pad and uh, I shall pop a link down below to his awesome page you have to go and check him out wonderful content all right let's have a look and as you know i pick it upside down why well, be like everyone else eh? now this lock i have got it open before can whack you in the deepest of false sets and not get you anywhere so let's see what we can do today. So hopefully we can get it open. Because we know with Leon he puts some super magic pins in here that will give you a bad day or two or even a few weeks worth of sitting there playing, not getting anywhere. I think I might have already overset. Oh, ah. we're in. So we we'll go the other way. We got a key. Bugger. Come back here. All right, let's see. Just want to see if you could see that awesome false set. I know when uh, he sent me this lock, they said sometimes it can be easy and sometimes it can be tricky and trust me it can be tricky i mean look at that that's a a false set and <laughs> the angle on that is mental it's not going anywhere so yeah the amount of times that yeah you can get stuck good job we got the key i could be here all day doing it this way What we done? There we go. Back into a false. Wonder what type of pins he's got in here. See, straight back into that crazy deep false set. All right, let's go the other way. I don't want to have to resort to chucking the key in. I'm glad I had the camera filming and got that first one because I think I've screwed myself over again. So we're back into that deep false set. So I could have been quite lucky on that first first pick but hey I got it open a pick's a pick hey eh? all right let's see what a key brings let me quickly show you the tag pin by Leon's lock pad little John all right let's see if I can get this open sometimes unwrapping the keys can be uh, just as tricky Ooh, nice, very nice. Right, let's get this little baby uh, and done. There's the key work. Oh, beautifully, beautifully. Right, let's get the back off. Let me just tip the camera down a little bit. There we go, we can see what we're doing then, can't we? Um, right. I hate these C clips. Right, shims. I don't need one of them with Leon's pins. And 
what an empty. I've not got my follower. Right, bear with me two seconds. I don't want to pause the camera in case you think I'm cheating. Alright, I found a big bit of rod, that'll do. That should slide in there nicely. Right. There we go. Sweet as a nut. So we can already see some evil genius work in there. A little tea or oh, a couple of tea pins. Right. So let's give it a little knock. So they all needed to be picked. Let's have a look. Number one. I'll drop them all out first and then we'll have a a little look. Where's my tweezers? Up. Don't think I've had enough coffee this morning. Oh, beautiful. Right, turn you around. Some sweet looking pins there. Right. Slide that a little bit over forward for you. Right, so it looks like oh, it looked like they've been threaded a bit, but I don't know if you can just see in two and four, but it doesn't actually feel no, it could just be the how it's sitting right what have we got in here should have had me all the tweezers these are a nightmare to hold oh, let's take the shim out so what have we got number one nice serrated number two a cool pin in pin with a spring attached to it. And sweet. Tiny serrated T pin. Right, I weren't quite sure what way they come out. I shall have to have a look. Wow, that one can fly in. Ah, it's one of the uh, sink. Wow, that's so magnetized. One of the sink ball bearing bits off the chain. Yeah, I don't want to crush a spring. Oh, that is so magnetized. Uh, and the last one's popped out already. That's a key pin by the looks of it. Let me have a closer look in a second. A tiny, tiny spring there. I'll have to check really on which way these two go. But right, let's bring you in for a closer look. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. So, yeah, we've got some awesome pins here. Maybe it'll focus. If not, I shall zoom back out and we'll uh, try and get you in closer this way. So, yeah, we've got the key pin with a nice spool in it and serrations above that. And number two, a nice T pin. And one, I'm trying to hold the camera. I'm sure that was a pin. Yeah, an awesome pin in pin. Then in number three, we've got the serration and T-pin. Four was a standard uh, with the little magnetic ball bearing bits. So that's where that ultra deep set was coming from. And then we have a very, very nicely done serrated with a sort of T-pin top to it. And a uh, key pin for a driver, but 
yeah, let's say I'll check with you know just to see what way those springs went in. But that was uh, a great pick, a uh, really nice lock. And let's say I've had some nights where I've just had that stupid deep false set over and over and over. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed that, and I shall probably send this one off to um, William Mansell uh, with his package I'm about to send out. So uh, yeah, he can have fun picking this. So uh, thanks, Leon, for a awesome look, and uh, hopefully I shall have more time now to start doing plenty of videos. So thank you for your time, and uh, see you next time. Bye. Just a quick side note to say this is where the springs went, so the steel one went in uh, number three. So uh, yeah, thanks again to Leon for sending me his awesome lock, which I shall now pass back out into the community. See you later, bye!